I'm just back to playing in regular preseason form now, just playing regular minutes. You know, things I would normally do in the preseason. So it's uh, it's good to be there. Is it a little frustrating for you now? No, no, not at all. Not at all. Past that, I don't, you know, actually, I don't think it's ever been frustrating. It's just I understand it's the process. I've been through it before, so it's all natural to me. Coming Different kind of preseason with you guys yeah. starting in Europe. Uh, does that change things uh, in terms of uh, you know pacing? In terms of well, I mean, it altered it altered our progression, you know, substantially. Um, right. But that being said, it was a great experience. It's not like we had a lot to um, you know add. Guys, everything's pretty much set. It's just fine tuning. So do you famously find motivation in different things, anything that gets you through the season and the playoffs, right? Do you find some motivation in the existence of the Miami Heat? I've never heard that question before. That's original. <laughs> I'm there for you. <laughs> no. You don't, don't, you, I don't need it. You don't need it? No, I don't need it. How about this? When you heard that the Heat were getting Le LeBron, Dwayne Wade, Chris Bosh, what was your reaction? Wow. How wild meaning this team's gonna be really good. Wild meaning. Wow, good. how did Pat Riley pull that <laughs> off? <laughs> yeah. Impressive. And and last question is how how good can that team be in your Great. Eyes? Championship uh, NBA Finals great? Capsations. Great. So when you heard they were gonna get those guys, were you like, oh, that's who we're gonna play in the finals next year? That's what y'all said. I didn't say anything. I said, I'm asking I, you. I said I gotta get my knee healthy. That's what I said.